In this video, I will show you how to find the exact number of sun hours you get at your location throughout the year, whether you're in the US or anywhere else in the world. I will also tell you why it's important to know and what one sun hour actually is. Before we check sun hours, we need to decide the tilt angle of the solar panels. This plays a big role in how many sun hours you will get throughout the year. Let's use a simple example. Say you're in Houston, Texas. If we type that into PV Watts and click next, we will see the latitude of our location. Let's round up to latitude of 30 degrees. Make a note of this number. Now we go to my free tilt angle calculator and enter the latitude. Remember the latitude was 30 degrees? If we enter that in the calculator, we can see three different tilt angles. I recommend using a year-round tilt angle of 28 degrees for this location. By the way, I have a separate video on how to find the best tilt angle for your panels. So check it out after this one. Now let's go back to PV Watts and enter our tilt angle of 28 degrees. If you have a flat roof, enter 0 degrees. You can also enter your solar panel array size, but that won't affect the sun hours, so it's optional. Click Go to PV Watts results. In the first column, you will see the months of the year. The second column shows sun hours per day for each month. We can see that December has the lowest sun hours and July the highest. Why is this method better than using a sun hour map? Most people just look at an average sun hour map, but that doesn't tell the full story. With PV Watts, you can see the difference between summer and winter. This is important because you can size your system for the worst case scenario in winter and you will know when and how often to fire up your generator if you're off grid. So why do we use sun hours? Sun hours helps us figure out how much solar panels we need to recharge our battery. For example, if your battery is 10 kilowatt hours and you have four sun hours on average, you will need 2500 watts or 2.5 kilowatts of solar panels to fully recharge the battery. Do you want a detailed breakdown on how to size your off-grid solar system? Check out my design video where it goes much more into detail. A lot of people get confused about sun hours, and rightfully so. Let me explain what sun hours really are. One sun hour is also called peak sun hour and it equals an irradiance of 1000 watts per square meter. That's a standard test condition, or STC, used to rate solar panels. If you check the specifications on the back of a solar panel, you will see the power ratings are based on the STC of 1000 watts per square meter. So why do your panels never reach their rated power? You might have noticed, a 100 watt solar panel rarely gives you 100 watts. That's because the real world solar radiation is often much lower, maybe around 600 watts per square meter. Some people think I have 8 hours of sunlight, so I have 8 sun hours. But that's not true. Because solar radiation will be lower than 1000 watts per square meter. If you have a device measuring solar irradiance, you might get 600 watts per square meter. So 600 watts times 8 hours of sun is 4.8 sun hours. So if you're serious about designing your off-grid solar system correctly, don't just rely on sun hour maps. Use PV watts for an accurate breakdown. If this video was helpful, consider liking it and subscribe for more videos like this. Check out my beginners playlist as well. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.